my poo poos is Nessa Poo Queen of Cuffs Tarot. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so now. Like, share, and subscribe. If you're new here, welcome to the Poo Poos Tribe. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for love for August 2020. Keep in mind, these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. If they do, great. If they don't, you can book a personal reading with me, which everything will be down in the description box below. So you can find out what the T is, get more in-depth, and get more clarification on what you want to know and what you need to know. Okay, boo-boos? All right. So let's jump on and see our reading. Universe spirits and guys, what love messages do you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 2020 when it comes to love? So we have spiritual strength and fulfillment of wishes. Okay, all right. Some of you guys went through um, a spiritual um, journey. Or some of you guys um, is doing what makes you happy, or um, what you what what makes your heart happy, and it's it's making you spiritually stronger. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ooh, yep. So you guys definitely went through something spiritual with intuition here. Okay, fertility. Some of you guys could be pregnant, have somebody pregnant, or something is just growing tremendously in your life that's making you very happy and you're on the right path. Clarify fulfillment of wishes. Okay. Okay. So we got the Five of Swords, Three of Pentacles. And a page of wands. I feel like some of you guys kept things a secret to make you happy. My spiritual strength here. Like you, you secretly bossed up. Or you secretly bossed up with somebody. And it made you stronger. And yeah, you made a decision about something. Definitely made a decision. You made a final call. And that boosted you up. Tell me more about spiritual strength. Start putting in work on something. Start working with yourself. Start working on somebody. Working with somebody. Or making it work with somebody. When you were honest with yourself, you got mental clarity on this. And it builds you up. Built, or this person built you up. This may be a spiritual connection that you got with somebody. Yep, you could definitely have a child with this person. Um, yeah, you took a, a leap of faith on what made you happy. You bossed up with the Empress. Y'all secretly bossed up for what made y'all happy. Clarify fertility. Okay. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> the devil. Okay, be careful on um, 
getting somebody pregnant or getting pregnant. You guys. Yep. King of Swords. Y'all secretly bossed up. And now y'all feeling good, too. A lot of things grew for you guys in, in your life. Thank you. Be mindful that somebody's spying on you, though. Yep. Want to give to the situation? Mm hmm I want to see what y'all up to. Somebody, you could have split from somebody and that made you happy. You made a final decision to let this go. Take a leap of faith on what made you happy, right? This person could see your boss up because you're so happy and so content without them because they were toxic. So you detached yourself and now they span on you. So what other messages do you have? What love messages do you have for Aquarius? Someone rising in Venus when it comes to love uh -oh. for August 25th. Start messing with somebody new as well. Yep, you could live with this person, or you're gonna be living with somebody new with family room, or you got a family with this person. Yep, I feel like despair that that's the person that's watching you while y'all, you know, focusing on what y'all focusing on, working, getting y'all coins. Doing what makes y'all happy. What other what love messages do you have for Aquarius, Summer Rising, and Venus for love for August 2020? Okay. If you got a child with this person or you had a family with this person, they want to work it out. They want to have a conversation with you to work this out. So trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Could be a Capricorn that y'all dealing with as well. So let's see what signs could be coming towards my singles or just what messages you guys need to hear. told y'all y'all bossed up in your own element moon in aquarius number 23 which is five and broke it down to five and a lot of change went on free spirit your inner wild child awakens y'all y'all doing y'all y'all having fun or y'all moved on with somebody new and doing y'all oh mm -hmm. can't tell me that y'all ain't sitting up here feeling y'all so a libra could be coming towards you as well because we got y'all again. Sun in Aquarius. Number 11. Opportunity. Readiness for change. What I just tell y'all? Y'all, things change. Yep, Libra definitely could be coming towards you. Um, Sun and Libra, number 7. Harmony. Enjoy life. Enjoy life with music, love, and romance. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I think y'all got a new boo. And somebody watching. Sun in Pisces, number 12. High purpose. Higher purpose. Align yourself with love and wisdom. I feel like y'all doing it already. So keep doing what y'all doing. I feel like y'all on the right path, all right? So what other messages do you have for my wonderful Aquarius? I'm on rising Venus when it comes to love 
for August 2020, Universe Spirits and Gods. But the Aquarius, they are not playing. <laughs> they ain't playing no games. Look, no and no. Look, no, no. They ain't playing. I know y'all ain't playing. Y'all like, uh-uh. I don't want that, that drama no more. Y'all stuff was so direct. Y'all reading was kind of short. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Mm-hmm. That's what y'all did. Let go. If y'all didn't, y'all about to or you need to. Because unlikely is here. Unlikely. Things ain't going to be the same. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Yes. Keep doing what you're doing. You're on the right path. That's why I feel like they're saying yes. But I feel like no is here because y'all need to keep going the direction that y'all going. Mm-hmm. Abundance. Abundance. Y'all are on the right path, honey. So let's see what advice Spirit has for you. What advice do you have for Aquarius, Summer, Rising, and Venus when it comes to love for August 2020? Thank you, Spirit. Let yourself... <clears throat> Sorry, let yourself feel all your emotions, your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. Okay, so pay attention to your emotions. If they, it could be a high vibration, it could be a low vibration. If it's a low vibration, then you know to get away from somebody or you need to sage or you need to meditate to go ahead and get a, a higher vibration because somebody could be preying on your energy as well, okay? Heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it's, as it's trustworthy. So pay attention to that intuition, y'all. Okay? So prosperity. There's a positive shift and flow of divine support. Mm-hmm. Things looking up for y'all. Things changed. Let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show you're bigger than life side to the world. Okay, I'm here for it. Life changing empathy or experience. It's time, it's a time of big and blessed change for you, and God is supporting you each step of the way. So, y'all got protection, your angels is with you, um, the higher power is with you. Okay, y'all on the right path, keep doing what y'all doing. If y'all don't want to go back to this toxic shit, then don't, don't go back to it because I don't think that y'all should. I think if y'all are, you know, doing you or doing what makes you happy, keep doing that because you're you're getting rewarded for it, okay? So that's all that I have for you guys. I love you guys so, so much. I hope it resonated. If it did, drop comments down in the comment section, honey. Mm -hmm. If you like to book a personal reading with me, everything is in the description box below. I love you guys and hope that you guys come back and visit me soon and be back again, okay? Talk to you later. Bye, poo-poos.